In today's video, I really wanna to talk to you about something that Rick Clun told me a number of years ago. Now this was the first and only time that I had ever met Rick Klein. And for those of you who don't know, which I, I would assume that most of you do, Rick Klein is one of the best bass fishermen to ever live. Definitely one of the best tournament bass fishermen. I mean, he's won multiple, four Bassmaster Classics, multiple Angler of the Years. He's one of the best fishermen out there. And I met him one day and he gave me some advice and I feel like it is just really good advice when it came to fishing. And it's something that I've always kind of held on to. Now, before we get into the video, this one's brought to you by my apparel company, Finn Fishing. Right now for the month of October 2024, I'm running a package deal over on the website. You can get a USA made sun shirt, like the one you see here, and a bass hat with a wooden bass badge for $67. So all you gotta do, add the sun shirt to cart, add the bass hat to cart, and you will see that automatic discount at checkout. Shopping at Finn Fishing is truly the best way to help support this channel. I greatly appreciate all of you who have done so. Now. The reason that this encounter with Rick Klein even happened, I was fishing down in Mississippi. I believe that this was in 2015, because I think it was the first year that I fished the Bassmaster Opens on the boater side. I had fished for a number of years as a co-angler, moved over to the boater side, and this is when this happened. Now, I was fishing Ross Barnett Reservoir down there in Mississippi at this Bassmaster Open, and during this particular tournament, I had practice for five days for this event, which most anglers out there would practice for five days. And I was staying at a campsite and I was actually tent camping. Like I, I did not have a lot of money at the time. I was putting all the extra money that I had to tournament entry fees and the expense of these tournaments. So I was doing everything as cheap as I could. So I was tent camping because it cost me $20 a night and that was super cheap. The only problem with it is that it had ran, rained for every single day of this practice. Like, like every single day, it was raining and it was just a constant rain down there. And tent camping and raining for that long just do not go well. And actually over the course of like the practice period, I ended up moving into my truck and sleeping in my truck because <clears throat> Everything in my tent was so saturated. Now, the day before the tournament, so on my last practice day, I'm sitting in my boat. The, the air, it had finally cleared outside. I'm sitting in my boat, and I had seen Rick Clun's boat and trailer on the other side of the tent camp like every single day, and I kept wanting to go over there and talk to him, but I just couldn't work up the courage. Like, this, this is one of the best guys to ever do it. I just couldn't. But anyways, I was sitting there, <clears throat> rigging up all my rods and reels for the day, the first day of the tournament. And like out of blue, out of nowhere, I turn around and Rick Klun is standing right beside my boat. And the first thing that he says to me, he's like, I remember those days. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, and he's like, I remember being out here in, in tent camping and, and doing everything that I could to just be a tournament fisherman. And he said, if you continue to have this passion for it and this love for it, you will be successful at this game, is what he said. And that's actually not the best thing that he said, I'm about to talk about it, but I do remember him saying that and it just meant a lot to me. And the funny thing is, is that as soon as he said that after the fact, he's like, I'm Rick Klum, by the way. And I remember thinking in my brain, like, dude, everyone who's picked up a bass rod knows who Rick Klum is. But anyways, I introduced myself and then he looks at me and he says, if he said, when it comes to bass fishing, there are no shortcuts. He said, there are no shortcuts. He says, it's all about time on the water. He, that's like, that, that's the only thing that he said to me. And I'm like, dude, that's, that's super good advice. I didn't call him dude, but I was like, that's awesome. That's good advice. He said, just remember there are no shortcuts. And then he like walked away into the, into the sunset, not to the sunset. He walked back to his truck camper. And that was like the extent of our conversation. But he, I remember him really wanting me to know there are no shortcuts. And I think that this is something that in today's age has actually been fairly frustrating for me because recently there's been a lot of drama in the bass fishing world, in the tournament bass fishing world, you know, and one of the biggest things that I despise is that you have some of the best anglers in the world that are professional anglers, that there are a few of them, not all of them, but there are a few of them that have been buying waypoints for fisheries that they're about to go to. 
And I remember when I heard that people were buying waypoints. One, I thought, come on, like these are, you guys are the best of the best. You should be setting the example and you should be doing it the right way. And I also remembered what Rick Klun said when he said, there are no shortcuts to this game. And back, back in those days, like I'm sure that there were people even back in those days still trying to buy waypoints. But even before he started, like there probably wasn't, no, actually as a matter of fact, there was no GPS back in the day when he started because he used to triangulate. I remember watching that and how he would triangulate in tournaments. But anyways, I just remember that being so fond of my head and how basically he said like, if you do everything, if, if you're out there not trying to, trying to shortcut this game, you will learn at an exponential level. Like the more situations that you fish out there, the better that you're going to be. You know, when, you, when, it, when it's raining, it goes from raining to sunny and you're been out there on the water and seen that when it goes from sunny to rainy, when you have wind pushing water in an area, whatever conditions that you experience as an angler, the more times you experience it, the better in the long run you are going to be. And to me, this is this also what Rick Clun says kind of goes to like, you know, give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day, but teach a man how to fish and he'll eat for forever. And to me, that's a little bit what is become wrong with tournament fishing these days. Cause I love tournament fishing, but I cannot stand if someone is out there more or less trying to buy waypoints or cheat. I mean, as a, a, a really is what it comes down to trying to shortcut the game. So I just wanted to pass along Rick Clun's advice, which is don't shortcut the bass fishing game. You can look up all the, the stuff you want to on YouTube. You know, I think that that's perfectly fine. Obviously I'm here on YouTube and I think that you can learn from that, but being out there on the water, I, I will tell you, there have been so many times in my life when it comes to bass fishing that someone has, I, I've been with someone in the boat and they've told me how to fish a lure or what I should look for. But until you experience it firsthand experience, you will never fully grasp it. So even though I put out all these YouTube videos, even though there's tons of content creators that put out YouTube videos, you will never fully grasp anything until you experience it out on the water. And so I still truly believe that. I truly believe the best anglers out there are the ones that spend a lot of time out there on the water. And it's exactly what Rick Klein said. There are, there are no shortcuts. So anyways, just wanted to pass that on to you guys. I think that it's great advice and uh, I think that everyone should hear. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you tomorrow. <clears throat>